Alright, so the key to drawing a ray is pretty much get the line of motion down, get the head down, which is simplified as a circle, get the chest down, which is simplified as a rectangle. However, when I say rectangle, I want you to keep in mind that the shoulders are going to be much larger than the hips. So you're going to have the top of the, the rectangle be much larger than the bottom of the rectangle. Alright, so the thing to remember about feet, arms, hands, even legs, is all they're all triangular. For the feet especially, when you draw a tri when you draw the triangle, you gotta remember where the angle is because that tells you where to put the ball of the foot versus where to put the arch within the, within the top of it. His visor is pretty simple. All you have to do is draw a line right in the middle of his head, and then another one about halfway between the first line and the top of his head. That will give you the, both the top and the bottom of the visor. To find the proportions of a normal face, you pretty much just draw a line right in the middle and another line in the middle from the top to the bottom, and the other one obviously being from side to side. That will tell you where the, to fit the eyes, the nose, the mouth, etc. This technique is imperative when drawing a ray 7 because that cross is exactly where you stop. You do not have to worry about eyes, nose, anything like that. When you draw the guns, it's important to keep perspective in mind. Here I drew a circle within a circle to show a gun facing forward, while I drew another one kind of tipped to the side, which will show an ellipse. To draw the guns, you're going to use a shape in between the two. To draw the left hand and the left gun, the best thing to do is to draw the hand first. So here I was drawing the gun first, and as you can see, I couldn't do it. If you're planning on inking the drawing, I don't suggest doing it in pencil first, mainly because it's a big waste of time. However, if you are a beginner, that can show you where to shade before you put permanent lines down. Inking is pretty much self-explanatory. You go over your lines. That's pretty much it. Here you have the pinnacle of form and function, the dollar store pen. In other words, you can use literally anything to ink. It does not matter. In my personal opinion, I find that the dollar store pens flow much, much better than even the $20 pens. I'm the invincible, undefeated champ I on Mount Zion's my ancestors can't rely on Star of David, nah, the thought of star dumb. Modern dumb and done crumbs left to the dumb thumb to this play button glutton of words. Here we have my absolute favorite part, putting down the highlights. Now the thing about white gel pens is it can make your artwork look phenomenal. However, you can go overboard. That is, I cannot stress that enough. Do not put it on everything you see. For me, I only put it on things that are shiny, such as armor, rubber gloves, guns, anything along those lines. 
And remember, white gel pens are a lot like makeup. Everyone overdoes it at some point. The key to capturing someone's character is in not only the facial expressions, but the body language as well. Since Array 7 is very energetic, I used all of that, not from the eyebrows all the way to his hands. Now as a medic, you have to put up with a lot of crap, such as your teammates abandoning you. That seems to happen a lot with Array, so I made him look irritated. <laughs> Drop this in the puddle, you drown a couple muggles, so hush. I'm a lyrical magician, rhythmical pediatrician. Diagnose the game with misdirection, wrong jurisdiction. Politician, the pen and pad, fix your rip to break the bat. Red derision gets you all to make an idiot mad. Historically, you bore the chorus, busting open y'all. The bros and two Zara, tiny best return my call. How do you try hard to think you will match the abyss? Punch you with the bar, pass you, test you to Hades, bitch. I'm rich to the rhymes, middle of the the dime, so high to me. Driver to visit me, never line on 205 Street. Dare I say I'm invincible at 18? Yeah, fuck it. Kid will evacuate, toss your shit, music in the bucket. Don't make a ruckus, it's just, just to suck it. Fuck stick.